women are turning, making men wait, men are not making women wait. So like, again, hookup culture, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of on the women, don't you think? But men can control it too. I agree because I don't think a woman can technically make a man wait. It's his decision to do so. And if that's not a good prospect for you, as a man, you can walk. And I would encourage guys to do that, especially with women who, have, who are not saving themselves for marriage, who have given sex up earlier in the relationship than you currently are with that particular woman. And the reason why I encourage that is because um, it's, a, it's kind of a barometer for how attracted the woman is to you by how how little she needs in return in order to exchange sex for a relationship. And the higher a woman's attractiveness, attraction level is to you, the easier relationship you're going to have. The more effortless it's going to be, the more you're gonna feel like lucky and happy to be there. And so it's just sort of like not worth it if you're gonna be like willing to accept sexual treatment that she was not willing to give to other men in her past. More? More? But bro, I guess the point I'm trying to make is women have more access to being promiscuous, you know? Like an average dude can't just be like running through chicks. Correct. Like an average chick. He can. He nah, bro. Not, nah, not an average bro. man. No way. <laughs> average men like don't. Average men in order to get sex like it's usually within the confines of a relationship so you'd be surprised so what i guess the the just re related to the like who controls access to sex and like who's to i know you weren't really f f framing it as who's to blame for hookup culture but a larger proportion of women engage in hookup culture than do men because only a, a much smaller percentage of men are capable of engaging in hookup culture whereas Basically, all women can participate in hookup culture, but not all men can participate in hookup culture. And this is evidenced by the fact that, for example, incels exist. It's so bad for them, they are involuntarily celibate. They're trying to get laid, they can't. Yeah, like I said before, I wasn't refuting that women uh, could okay. easier fuck, like more easily fuck. But, but more women participate in the hookup culture. I was saying which party do you think is propagating hookup culture more and I was saying probably the gender that enjoys casual emotionless hookup hookups. Well, I'm not sure it's not apparent to me that that's the case for men. I think men are perfectly satisfied in long-term monogamous relationships. I don't know if that's necessarily true. I think that a lot of men have to make a virtue out of a necessity. And that Oh, you mean like so you're saying out of necessity men because that's the only uh, way in which that they can gain access to sex. I think to a, for a lot of men, yeah. Okay. And I think that if those guys could snap their fingers and change places to a guy who has, let's say, effortless optionality with hundreds or thousands of attractive women, uh, I think that would be a, a difficult choice mm, not to that's make. That's fair. So men, men are monogamous out of necessity? Y yeah. Okay. Although I think there's some men that are just they have uh, virtue, I guess, and they're not, they're not beholden to their animal instincts I, I and have sexual discipline. I necessarily believe that a person is non-virtuous because they have sex with more than one person. Well, I'm not saying that, but for, for example, they might, um, perhaps a virtue that they hold is uh, chastity. They would not have that virtue, no. Who would not have that virtue? The man, in, the, in that case. Which man? The man who was having sex with multiple women. Oh, he definitely no. would not have the virtue of chastity. No, but but there are some men that choose to be disciplined in their... Absolutely, uh, there are. There are a small subset of men, but yeah. there, there are some out there. Are you saying that most men are dogs? I'd say that all things being equal, <laughs> men want as much okay. sex as they can with the fewest expenditure of resources possible. Word. Like and it, it feels like an essential to them. Totally. There's these great videos of um, women undergoing sex will reassignment surgery when they go from female to male where they first get on T, testosterone. And what? it's like, yeah. And I highly encourage 
people to Google this on, or, or look it up on YouTube because it's like they understand men for the first time when they're being exposed to testosterone. It's like they get it. And it's, it's a way that um, I just don't think that most women have access to that feeling that like it's on a cellular level. On some level, I'm glad that my libido has waned as I've gotten older because it's so obnoxious. It's like being a guy when you're younger, sort of like having this like three-year-old in the back seat behind you, kicking your seat every 30 seconds, saying like, can we have sex yet? Can we have sex yet? How about her? How about her? Go talk to her. Can you, can you do this? It's like, that doesn't necessarily mean that men will act on it all the time, but it is, it's relentless. And it is not a very pleasant place to be. And I think it's only after that ebbs in your 30s that guys kind of can like, they are, it's like this liberation and they start to care about things other than sex more. It's almost like... In the 30s? It's all, yeah. That's kind of, that, that's because the testosterone levels are dropping. Exactly. And it's, it used to be that early. Yeah. Well, it, it's like at that point, I think they realize this is kind of like what it might feel like for women. They get to focus on other things. Well, you can also increase your testosterone. It doesn't have to decrease with age. It depends on your health and your mentality. My husband's in his 30s, and his T's going up. Sorry, TMI. Word. No, testosterone never goes up <laughs> over a, a lifespan organically. It only goes down. You can TRT. You can slow the... Well, in that's like, not In like organic, your 70s. Right? Oh, right. Because um, um, like in the 1950s, men still All right, had let me, let me get this last soup chat. I know. 